Why is one side completely uncurled and the other side is curled? What is happening with my hair? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you guys here today. My video that I have for today is my monthly unboxing, yay! And I have all of my boxes here and I have more than I usually have. And so it's gonna be a really fun, exciting video. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna put all of whatever makeup that I have in these boxes, I'm gonna put it on my face. So if that sounds fun to you, stick around and subscribe to this channel because I do one of these videos every month. Okay, so let's talk about the boxes slash bags that I have this video. First, the box that I have every single month that will never go away because it is my favorite box, Ice Cream Beauty box. I love this box, it is my favorite. It is like indie brands, it is $25 a month, free shipping, it has five to seven full size items in here, although it's usually about five, sometimes maybe seven, and mostly makeup. Once in a while I will get a skincare item in here, but it is mostly all makeup in here, and it is fabulous. The indie brands sometimes will be like indie brands that are on my wish list that I've heard of and I've been wanting to get and like new releases from indie brands too. So really, really exciting. So I have this one, $25 a month. I also have the Ice Cream Beauty bag this month. I don't know if I will continue to be getting the Ice Cream Beauty bag. I just heard that ice cream for the month of September and that, oh, I didn't tell you guys, this is the September unboxing video. Mm -hmm, it is, but for the month of September, ice cream was going to be doing fall. And I, I love fall, as you can see, fall. I love fall, so I was like, oh, I want everything that is fall. So I was like, let's pick up <laughs> the ice cream bag, because more fall equals better. So I have the ice cream beauty bag. It is $12.50 a month, but there is shipping on this one, it's $4. So it adds up to be $16.50. So in this bag, just like in the box, they are all full size items. This one has three to five full size items. So this one in the, in the end ends up being worth like retail, uh, like $125 about. And I haven't gotten this one in a while, but I think it was more like 70, $80, adding all of the value. I have the Ipsy bag. So I have had a range of Ipsy's on my channel. But right now, I just have the Ipsy Glam bag. It is $14 a month, and there is also a $1.99 like handling fee or something like that. So, and then obviously like little taxes or whatever. So, it is more than just 14, but it's still a good value all in all. So, here we have the Ipsy, but uh, the difference between these two is that these are like sample size and like deluxe size items, sometimes I'll throw in a full size item here or there. Um, but this has full size items, differences, differences. Okay. Then we have the item that is, it's not a subscription box, but I just decided to get it this month. A random white box. What is this? <laughs> it is the ColourPop Boo Box, the mystery $50 Boo Box. This was like a Halloween themed mystery boo box. All right, so we're gonna get into all of them. We're gonna put it on my face. It's gonna be exciting. Let's go. Let's start with Ipsy. So what do we have in here? Ipsy always comes with a bag, or at least the Ipsy bag always comes with a bag. Now the Ipsy boxy charm doesn't come with the bag anymore, but it used to at once upon a time. So this one actually, because I got a brush, and the brush, I guess, doesn't really fit in the bag. And so I got a brush. Okay. So I remember in the past, I haven't actually gotten the Epsi bag for years, but I remember getting brushes all the time. And I built my brush collection by getting Ipsy brushes. And I always liked that. Like having a collection of a hodgepodge of these like kind of nice brushes from Ipsy. And I like going back to the roots of that. So this, I believe, if based on like where these little gems here is an SL, SL Miss Glam. One thing about the Ipsy bag is that it actually tells you what's in the bag. For some reason, 
everything, all of the other Ipsy's doesn't tell you, and I don't know why, but this is the SL Miss Glam Large Fluffy Bird Blending Brush. It is a full size. See, I said that sometimes they do have full size items in here. So, I mean, I guess they do have mini brushes. So they could have given me a mini brush, but they didn't. So it's a full size um, retail value, $21.50, which I, I like that. It's, it seems like really fluffy, a really nice fluffy blending brush. Nice, great. And with the five items in here, I was able to, based on my quiz, pick one of the items in here. So, and it wasn't that brush. That was just outside of, of the package, so I showed it to you first. Let me show you what I actually picked. So what I picked was this. It is the Innisfree Cherry Blossom Glow Jelly Cream. This Innisfree is a fun brand. It is, I believe, a K-Beauty brand, and I heard about this brand years ago and ordered from their website and got a lot of like their lip stains and loved them. And so I have been a huge fan of Innisfree for years. And so when I saw that this was an option, I was like, fun, I love Innisfree. And this, it says that it is a deluxe sample size. So some of these are just like small sample size and some of them are deluxe sample sizes. It is, it doesn't tell me the price of the deluxe size. It does say that the full size version is $26. I mean, I guess I could do the math, which by the way, I will put all of this information from all of these boxes in my description box. I'll either do the math and find out like the percentage of this size and how much it is to the full size and do the math and see how much this is worth. Or I'll actually try and find somewhere if this is sold online. Who knows? Who knows what I'll do? But I got this. I picked this. Great. Okay. Another thing. This is Pixie by Petra. It is a eye defined waterline. This is full size. MSRP $14. It's just a black eyeliner, but it says it is good for the waterline, which I actually don't really put black in my waterline. I usually put more of like um, fun colors, like bright, like blue and green and pink, and or I put like a peach color, like a brightening color. So I don't know. I think it's cool because it's waterproof and it's specified for the waterline. I just don't usually use black in the waterline, but I think it's cool because it's a full size. Okay, then I got... Um, from Juliet Has a Gun. This is Ode to Dullness. And this was picked by Ipsy for me. And I like perfume. Um, so when I was getting this, I was thinking that it would just be like one of those tiny little sample sizes. But no, it's actually a pretty good sample size. Like this would last you like a month's worth if you used it every day, I think. So this is, it says, it doesn't tell you how much this is worth. Um, it says the full size is $150. But I feel like they sell like little ones like this for like 30 bucks, right? Ish. Anyways, that's just an estimate. But this is a deluxe sample size. Oh, notes of Freesia, Star Anise dance together. Actually, I'm not a huge fan. Okay, that's funny. I'm not a huge fan of Star Anise, but I, Star Anise tastes, tastes, it does taste like black licorice, but it smells like black licorice. And I like black licorice. I don't necessarily like to smell like black licorice. So let's, let's see. Maybe the freesia will balance it. Nope. That is, you do get the freesia first, but then it, it gets like that, the cloying heaviness of the the black anise, or black anise, the black licorice star anise. I do see why it isn't in this bag because it would be more of a fall fragrance because I, I would think it it's more of a, a fall heavy cloying fragrance, but I'm not a big fan. Last but not least from this bag is an eyeshadow palette. This I, I like because this is kind of, it's a mini size, but it's like you get a whole look out of this. So that's nice. It says full size. So full size here. Three out of the five things here, they're saying are full size. Yes, it's a full size eyeshadow palette, but I think it's like kind of like a full size mini because this is like Natasha Denona's like mini palettes. You know what I mean? Um, they say the MSRP is $16. It is the fall sweet fall mini eyeshadow palette from Pink Lips. And how cute is this? It is very full. It matches. Okay, so I'm wearing a Halloween shirt and my shirt underneath. It matches my shirt underneath really well. Beep. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. That's really nice. It's a nice fall palette. Okay, so that is everything that I got from this. 
Ipsy, let's dip into another bag. Okay, let's open the next more expensive item, which is the Ice Cream Beauty bag. Technically, this is the least expensive, but I'm including shipping, so it's the next most expensive. I feel like this one and the Ipsy are very evenly matched, so. Okay, it looks like we have four items. So they said three to five, we have four. That's right up the alley that they said we would have. And they're all full size. And in Ipsy, there were three out of five that were full size. So we're, they're looking both very comparable. Not that, I'm, I don't know why I'm, I didn't say I was gonna compare them. I just have a ten tendency to do that. Okay, so let's talk about the first thing. This, we have another brush which I, I kind of like getting brushes, like little singular brushes. I, brush packs are kind of boring for me, even though I love brushes and I need brushes to put on my eyeshadow, they're just not the funnest thing. Um, but when I get like one brush, for some reason that's more fun, because I'm like, ooh, what can I do with this one brush? I don't, I don't know, it makes sense in my head. Okay, so this right here is a point brush. Okay, what do I do with this? This is actually quite interesting. So there is a little um, card that I love when Ice Cream has these cards because they make it easy for me to do my description box. It says, it actually just says it is a Cheeky Rose Beauty. So from Cheeky Rose Beauty is the point brush. Well, I think it would be good for getting into this crease right here, or it'd be good for getting under this eyelash right here. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with this. The sky's the limit. Your imagination is the limit on this one. Okay, another thing we get is from Illuminati. This is, you can't really even see, but this brand is in um, ice cream a lot. And it's it for like these lip glosses. And so I've seen it a lot and I have found that I like some of the glosses and some of them are not my favorite. So like hit or miss, I guess you could say. So that brush, the point brush was $15. This gloss is 20 from ZC Cosmetics. That is so cute. It's got a little puppy on there. Okay, it is an eyeshadow palette. Oh, it is the shiniest eyeshadow palette. I feel the fall vibes in this one as well. It doesn't match what I'm wearing is, like this one has more red tones and the other one was more orange tones. That's okay, it's still perfect. <laughs> okay, lastly, what we got is another potential palette says lash step lash are there are they lashes no no they're not is this an eyeshadow what is this shimmer about you palette this is an eyeshadow palette so it's a shimmer palette actually now that I, I I'm opening this and now I remember watching somebody do spoilers for this bag and they talked about how this palette was very similar to a makeup by Mario um, shimmer palette and but much much less expensive can you I'm trying to get the there it is so it's not so shiny nope it's still shiny interesting okay cool so I got two palettes in this one very cool so and this one is $22 this one is $20 okay awesome so that is all that I got from the ice cream beauty bag okay ice cream beauty box $25 a month it also comes with a nice card that explains everything that's in here. First off, we have from Ace Beauté. Oh my gosh, Ace Beauté is one of those indie brands that I was talking about that I love. I have eyeshadow palettes on my wish list. It's a Google Doc of just a wish list. And Ace Beauté is on there actively right now. And so getting stuff from Ace Beauté is fabulous. Ace Beauté is going through a like a the rebranding right now. So everything on their website is on sale. But anyways, that is awesome to be able to get a lip. I think this is a liquid lipstick. I could tell you, I could tell you. Pout Perfect Liquid Lipstick by Ace Beauté, $18. See, this is why I was saying that uh, this Illuminati, like sometimes they're not as much my favorite because this is $20 and this is 18. And I just feel like this should be 18. Look at look at the craftsmanship. Look at the 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 bottle here. Like and this I'm like not that this is not going to be a good formula, but I'm like really $20? 8 really? There's a little bit of a discrepancy here. Anyways, I don't know. They both could be amazing. And this one is in the shade Ambition, and it's a very fall. Look at that. Look at that fall shade. We do have a little bit of like cracking, but I actually have a couple of these from Ace Beauté and they just do that. 
it, it's fine. The packaging, the presentation, is just so like 20s, 1920s. It's it's beautiful. I'm I'm a big fan. The next thing we have is from ZC. Oh my gosh! Actually, I just noticed there's another Illuminati. <laughs> okay, I got excited. But we have another Illuminati product. So two Illuminatis. They see that when they have a favorite brand to work with, they're gonna work with that brand, right? So I bet this is also twenty dollars. Yes. This is Allura Lip Gloss by Illuminati. Now from ZC. <laughs> this is a paint color bright eyeliner. I'm assuming in that shade. That is a fall shade right there. That is like a marigold shade. I actually kind of already have a eyeliner in this kind of color that I got from, oh, let's pull that out just to compare and contrast. Here's the one that I have that I got from ColourPop. Right there, right there. So let's swatch this one that I get got from ZC just now and see what the difference is. Why? I don't know. Because I can. Okay. I was thinking it was a marigold was correct. What was okay, so here it is. It's gold. Very different from the color bob. That's beautiful. This is what I would wear in my waterline. Okay, cool. Pretty. I love that. That is really pretty. Okay, awesome. That is worth $24. Oh, there's a sharpener. It says there's a sharpener on the end. There is. Nice. I love it when companies think of that and have a sharpener on the end. Just, it's the little details that count. We have a palette. I know because I just looked down here. <laughs> on here. This is from Delancey. It is a multi, Delancey, huh? A multi-chrome palette. A multi-chrome eyeshadow palette. So, and then I also see down here another palette. It looks like in both the box and the bag, we're getting two eyeshadow palettes. Like they are serving. They are really giving us something here. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And okay, I'm not going to pretend here. I get spoilers. I knew that we were getting these eyeshadow palettes because they give you spoilers, not for everything, but just for like the main things in the box. And they had a choice this month. So I kind of have been thinking ahead of, of this eyeshadow look. So I knew the, the eyeshadow palette I'm about to show you. So, so we'll talk about that in a second, but I wanna swatch these. Can you see, this looks like it's kind of oiling out a little bit, but it's weird because it's on, usually you only see when it's oiling out when it's on like paper, but it's on plastic. Interesting, it's not a problem. Shadows just, shadows will do that. Um, Cause the shadow is emollient. But anywho, I just thought it was interesting. Oh, pretty. So here, those are those four. I put it really close to here, but eh, whatever. Those are so pretty. And they're not as like fall colors as I would. Okay, I do think teal is a fall color, but to me, with these four together, it kind of is screaming summer, like the beach. So am I gonna make a fall look? Yes, but this is more like the beach than fall to me. Anyways, the last thing is another eyeshadow palette. And this is from Moon Slice Beauty. And we got eyeshadow palettes from Moon Slice Beauty, was it two months ago, maybe three? And I got two because we had the choice to get uh, either a purple one or a blue one. And I ended up getting both. And actually I wasn't, like the quality was okay. It was okay. It, I wasn't like, this is terrible. And I wasn't like, this is amazing. It was just, okay. Okay. So I didn't choose to get both this time. I just got one. So this one, and, and it was only $10, which is a good deal to get a second palette for $10. Um, but I still was, I was okay. I have enough palettes. I have way too many palettes. Moonshake in the color scheme, Moonshake. So there were two themes. I will put up here, the color theme for the other one. It was more fall. It was like the, the fall leave colors. It, it had more of a fall color scheme to it. Whereas this one is definitely just neutral. And I saw that we were getting this palette and I was thinking that making a look, this neutral palette with a this here would be just stunning that um, it would go, I would be able to come up with a really pretty look. And I mean, I would have been able to come up with a really pretty look with the other one, but I was, I just thought that 
without hurting my brain, it would be easier to come up with a look with this and this easier. For all of the details about all of the prices and how they all shake up, because you know, I paid $25 for this Ice Cream Beauty box, but how much is it actually worth retail? It'll be in my description box. So I think last month was one of my, like the, the biggest value I've ever seen for ice cream. It was like a hundred and like 60 or something. Check it out. Check out my description box. I worked really hard on my description boxes. Most people probably don't even look, but I do work really hard on it. Let's open the ColourPop box. I just looked in here and looked at everything for this Halloween boo box that says no tricks, just treats, 11 full size items for $49. And it's supposed to be, okay, let me, let me read it again. Limited edition Halloween mystery box featuring 11 full size items. So you tell me, does that sound like this is going to be a Halloween mystery box? That the things in here are going to be Halloween themed because that is what I thought. My intention with buying this was to get some Halloween items because I love holidays. I love all of them. And so I was like, fun. I don't have all of the past Halloween items from ColourPop. And I was like, oh my gosh, that would be so much fun to get some of the Halloween items that they don't sell anymore. And so I was like, sweet, $49 for 11 Halloween items. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Well, guess what? ColourPop, you tricked me. This is a Halloween, it says no tricks, just treats. Well, this is 100% a trick because this is 100% no Halloween items in here. There's not one Halloween item in here. And if I would have known that, I would not have purchased this. The only reason I bought this was for Halloween stuff. I just got the summer one, the summer mystery box. I got some some repeats in there. So I did not need, I mean, what, do I need makeup? No, but I definitely, definitely did not need another ColourPop mystery box. But I was like, Halloween one? It's a boo box? Yay! This is so much crap. I am kind of upset. Are you kidding me? This is a trick. This is a trick. Like it says no tricks, just treats. This is 100% all tricks. Halloween trickery right here. And I don't like it. I'm not happy. Okay, let's just show you what's in here. I love Halloween. They didn't even give me anything Halloween in here. Okay, so we're gonna go quick because I don't wanna, I don't wanna emphasize how upset I am about this. A glowing lip lipstick in the shade Highland Avenue. I don't have this. It's not a repeat. Great. We have a lip crayon in the shade Cherry Picking. I don't think I have this either. Oh, you know, for some reason, actually not for some reason. I was going to say ColourPop's lips products have never been my favorite. Um, and I was going to say for some reason, but actually I know it's, it's there. They don't really have like transfer proof. Uh, if they might, I just never have discovered it. Um, I've gotten quite a few of their lip products through boxes, through purchasing them on my own. And they have oils, they have um, stains, they have liquid lips, they have uh, crayons, they have lipsticks. But most of them are very creamy and very transfer. They transfer everywhere. So I think they recently did come out with one just recently that is supposed to be transfer proof. I haven't picked it up because... Just ColourPop lipsticks are, are not my favorite. They're not my favorite. And so whenever I get them in these boxes, I'm like, well, this can be a gift to someone because I don't, I, I like a matte transfer proof lipstick. Although here we go, here's a matte. So I guess I will try this one out. Ultra matte lip. Okay, I will be trying this one out. Um, maybe even today. It's in off the record. I wasn't planning on picking this up. So now I get to try it. Uh, let's see if there's any more lip products. Okay, so there's two more sticks, but they're not lip products. This is a ink liner in So Whiny. So a liquid eyeliner, but it is in this like wine red, which is fun. That's fun, especially um, I have green eyes. So the, the red will contrast with the green eyes really well. This is a liquid liner in the shade Ducky. So these are different because um, this one is more of a pot applicator 
And this, I don't, I'm not opening them because I don't want to talk about this box for too long. I could open them, I just don't want to. Um, and this one is just the, it's like the pen. So they're both felt tip. One is just in, I don't actually know if there's a, like, I feel like they both apply the same. They both have a felt tip pen, but this one has it where you pull it out of the, of the pot. And this one, you just take the, the cap off. Anyways, pink and red. This is a blush. Uh, it is a super shock cheek. I believe I got this exact blush and exact shade in the summer mystery box. I could be wrong on that. I may have gotten more of a, like a nude. This one seems more pink. I would have to go back and look at that video. But um, I remember that it was this uh, ColourPop times Marial. Um, but I also got a red one of this collaboration for my red blush video. So now I think I have all three shades, potentially. Anyways, okay, so I either have a repeat or I have a new shade. I got a super shock shadow in the shade deck. And here is where they're probably thinking Halloween. This is where they're like, this is spooky. This is silvery gray color, kind of spooky Halloween. No, no, that's just silver. Silver is not Halloween spooky, okay? For me, Halloween colors are black, purple, you know, lime green, and orange. This is silver. That's not even a Halloween color. Okay, all right. Then we have some palettes, which at least there are, I think, one, two, three, four. There's four palettes in here, so that's a good thing. Um, we have a palette called Wild Child. I don't have this palette, so at least it's not a repeat. One of the palettes in here, I'm going to have to go check and see if it is a repeat. That is fall to me. So this is supposed to be a boo mystery, you know, Halloween. No, this is fall. This is like, it matches my background. This is fall. And I love fall, but this is not Halloween. This is fall. Which, if it said this was a fall box, but it said Halloween. Okay. So we have another palette, wine and only. This looks beautiful. This is actually right up my alley. Again, though, based on the outer packaging, I'm feeling more fall. Although they might be thinking like blood and like twilight. Although, you know, if the twilight palette were in here, that would even be for Halloween. It's technically not, but vampires, although they ne the, Halloween, the twilight stuff sold out so crazy, they would never put it in a mystery bundle. But I mean, they could have put like the twilight lip gloss or something, you know what I mean? But I, I see that this they're thinking probably because this is like wine and red and blood that this could be Halloween. But to me, this wine, red, blood, burgundy color is fall. <laughs> this is a fall color to me. So actually the trees outside my house um, change this color in like November, mm, October, November. They're really very pretty. They're kind of like little saplings and I can't wait till they get bigger, but they could change this color. They're beautiful. It's a really pretty palette and I don't own it or now I do, but fall more than Halloween. Okay. So then we have, I can see where they're thinking Halloween with this one, the blowing smoke palette because it's black and Halloween black is a Halloween color, but it's not a Halloween palette. It's a black palette. <laughs> Like it's a good palette for a smoky eye. It's not a Halloween palette. Halloween is when you have a Halloween theme. They've done the Nightmare Before Christmas. They've done all of the Hocus Pocuses. They've done the uh, the one that they just brought back. Is it the Haunted Mansion? The Haunted, the one that is the ride at Disneyland that I clearly have never been on. They, they do all of these IPs with Halloween things, and yet they couldn't bring any of those into here. We just have a black palette. Anyways, I am not the biggest fan of cool toned palettes. Is it fun to be able to have a smoky eyeshadow? Yes, but I don't, I never have purchased this palette because like I didn't purchase the Natasha Denona, what was it called? But it's this, you know, the Natasha Denona Xenon, Xenon palette, because 
it just isn't up my alley. It's too cool toned. It's too stark for me. Anyways, I like warm tones. So I can see where they think that this is Halloween. You're not tricking me. Actually, they did trick me, but they're not tricking me to say that this is Halloween. I am not going to say this is Halloween. Okay, the last palette. This is the one where I'm not sure if this is a duplicate for me. <laughs> I'm going to go look. This is the Off Melrose palette. It doesn't look familiar. Let me go check my palettes real quick and I will see. I was thinking the heavy, heavy petal palette. They have like both kind of pastel -y looks to them. So that's what my brain was getting mixed up in my head. Okay, I don't think I have this. So that's nice that I, I don't think I got any duplicates. So is this box worth it? <sighs> don't ask me that question. You already know my feelings. <laughs> I am very, very disappointed in this not Halloween box. So if you are wanting a Halloween box, no, this is not a good box. I'm very, this box just made my heart sad. <laughs> but if you want a mystery box, yeah, sure. It's a good, it has a mixture of cheek, eyeshadow, lips. It, it's a mixture of good stuff, but I'm, I'm personally sad about this box. Okay, I'm gonna go probably drink a Diet Coke to get my, to get some endorphins. And uh, so then I'm gonna put on the eye, we can, we can put on some makeup. I'm back, I'm, I'm good now. I got my Diet Coke and that makes me happy. So I'm, I'm good now. <laughs> okay, so who's excited to put on some makeup? Me, I just put on foundation, and eyeshadow primer and I put on some bronzer and a little bit of highlighter. So those were things that I didn't get in any of these boxes. So let's put on some eyeshadow. Let's start with this Moon Slice Beauty, the Moon Shake palette. And we're going to do a neutral look and then pop on this and, and make it fun, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make it fun. I don't, I don't really have a plan. So we'll see what happens. Um, I also was kind of thinking that I did get this really pretty liner from ColourPop, that it would be really fun to use that liner. So we're gonna see what happens. Very pretty palette. And we're just, none of the shades have names. So I'm just going to, you know, go with a very nice transition shade here. Yay. I don't give enough props to like neutral palettes uh, because they're boring, but boring is good. <laughs> they're beautiful and it, I get the most beautiful looks with neutral palettes and then I can wear like a really beautiful lipstick with neutral palettes or I can use a beautiful multi-chrome. And so uh, I end up not purchasing, purchasing as many neutral palettes because I'm like, oh, I love bright colors. And my eyes are like, I, I, I see bright, shiny. And I'm like, ooh, bright, shiny. And then all I have are bright and shiny <laughs> eyeshadow palettes. And I'm like, Bianca, you, you, you probably need some neutral. Okay, I'm not really getting a lot of color payoff. Is it because that this is like the exact same color as my skin tone? Potentially. But I feel like it isn't. It, it's it's darker than my skin tone, but I'm not getting like color payoff. I don't know. I am going to try to have a, a good outlook about this palette. Okay, so then we're going to, I like this shade. It's kind of a sienna shade. That's cool. Perfect. Who's excited for fall and for fall temperatures to actually come? <laughs> we did actually have kind of um, a cool front come last week, but it's gone. <laughs> it was in the 60s and it was beautiful and now we're back up into the 80s. And right now in this room it is like a million degrees. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to get this darker brown right here. Oh, I was like, that one looks darker, but that actually has shimmer in it. I don't want that one. 
there is a black, but I don't want black today. Let's get a little of this NYX glitter glue and put it on. I am going to go with another shimmer from here. And I think I'm gonna use these two shades, right, those two from the palette on the eyelid. And then I'm gonna use the teal on the waterline or bottom of the lid. I don't know, we're gonna, it's all gonna work out. We're gonna go with this middle shade right here and just put that right here. That's nice. Perfect. Okay, so now we have somewhat of a look. Let's go into the Delancey, which I've been looking forward to. I'm going to go into this color right here Just put it on this inner part of the lid right here and mix it with that moon slice shade. It has a nice green flip to it, which is really pretty. Then for the inner corner, I'm gonna do this really pretty bright shade. Yeah, so pretty. Yes, so gorgeous. Okay, so right now we're looking just kind of neutral with a pop because that inner corner is really bright and fun. But I am going to make it more exciting because we're going to put this teal on the lower. Because I think that teal is a fall color. This actual, this wreath in the background here is teal. So it is a fall color and we're gonna make it work. Awesome. Then I will probably put on that red eyeliner, which I would love to do on camera, but probably can't because skills. <laughs> and put on mascara and stuff. That is so pretty, I love that. Okay, I didn't go with the liquid eyeliner because I just didn't think it would look good with the look. The blue with the burgundy I thought was reading more 4th of July than fall and so <laughs> I did a wing with the teal and it took forever as wings usually do because you don't like it and then you just keep building and building and building and then you take it. it was an experience i still don't love it but i just gave in and i don't usually like doing wings with like a brush because i just don't get as straight of a like a, the line that i want like i just feel like it always comes out looking like a line instead of like a wing anyways i like using the actual like eyeliner like because it's shaped like it's supposed to be shaped anyways so do I think it looks beautiful though like I love how you probably can't tell but there is that shift in the duo crown on the liner and I just think it looks gorgeous I I really like this look it is stunning I feel like we have almost kind of a sunset but then we have some blue and it's just I really am digging this look I, I like it. And I did mascara and I did eyebrows. What do we have left? Lips. We have some, some choices. We have the Ace Bute lip, which I think would look really good with this going on here. We have some lip gloss that would go, go well with the Ace Bute, like over it. Um, this was from Ice Cream Beauty, this was from Ice Cream Beauty, and I think these would go really well together. This one for, for, was from the Ice Cream Beauty bag, and I don't know how burgundy it will be because I don't know if those would go together. Anyways, I also have, from ColourPop, I've got some options as well. I have the lips liquid, the glowing lip, which I am contemplating. Like, I don't want to use ones I don't want to keep, and these are ones that I'm contemplating keeping. And so this is the Ultra Matte, the Glowing Lip. And so these are the ones I am contemplating 
wearing. So I think that this would look really good. And I haven't worn anything from ColourPop Mystery Box. So I think that we should probably go with this. Is it 100? Yeah, you know what I was going to say? Is it going to match the look? I think it will. I think it, it will. It's in off the record. And I really wanted to try out and see if this was transfer proof. So it's a little fruity. Let's let that dry a little bit and then we will test if it is transfer proof. Okay. E not so much. Okay, now we'll put it on. And then try it again a little bit less so is it transfer proof no I would say no which is why I have always kind of been like meh to ColourPop lip products is it after I blotted it it definitely has less transfer but it still has transfer and that was after you know the first blot you know the first time I it transferred and then I blotted it and it's still transferred. So, mm, color pop. <laughs> okay, then let's try this Illuminati because it's kind of red tone. So let's get this red one. Oh, it is a pigmented lip gloss. It's not gonna go with this look. This look. There we go. It's too bold for this eye look to have this bold of a lip look, but say la vie. I wanted to use this ZC um, liner in my waterline. Ooh, see how pretty that is? I love using that in the waterline. I probably, if I would have used this, I think I would like the lip better because I think this would have gone better, but I was trying to use different boxes and whatnot. Actually, you know what? Let's use the Ace Beauté. Wow, that is orange. Uh-huh. Maybe it's so orange because the other one was so red. But wow, that's orange. Whew. A good fall color, though. Very good for fall. Okay, now let's put this one on top. These kind of glosses like this, they're kind of, this is a tinted lip oil. Tinted. Tinted as, I'm going to say, this is kind of like a duochrome that they have, like, different colors in it. Like, it, it looks white but it will shine with different like a rainbow um and they look really pretty when you put them over like a black lipstick which i love to do this time of year oh it got all over hmm. eh. i could have done without that so the ace beauté is not transfer proof which i knew because i already have some of the ace beauté ones but anyways this one will be good over a black transfer proof lip. Are all of my <laughs> lip products wins today? No, clearly they are not. Actually, I'm not a huge fan of this lip either. I feel like it's kind of yellow. Are, are you guys as sad about the ColourPop box as me or am I just, okay, if I am being ridiculous, don't tell me, it's fine. I already know. If you liked this unboxing, like this unboxing. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified of my videos, push the bell. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.